how you can get a fight on KSI's Misfits Boxing Undercard. Or you never know, maybe even a headline. So if you're watching this, I assume you're a content creator, up and coming boxer, or maybe just a fan, or you know what, literally anything. But it doesn't matter who you are right now, because if you watch the end of this video and follow every step, you will have so much more of a chance of getting on a Misfits card. Because I have created four key steps to becoming a Misfits fighter. And although this is the easiest way, ladies and gentlemen, don't get the misconception that you're going to watch this video, click off, and you're going to get a call from KSI and Mams Taylor telling you that they want to fight. Because like everything in life, you have to work hard. And you have to watch all four steps. Because step one doesn't happen without step two. Step two doesn't happen without step three. Step three doesn't happen without step four. You get the gist. So let's just get into it. Step one. And step one is me telling you what not to do. And if you're watching this video, then I'm going to take a guess and say that you've probably done this before. And it doesn't matter if you have. But try not to spam KSI, Misfits Boxing, Mams Taylor, begging them to let you in an undercard. Because to be honest, you're going to be wasting your time. And you have to be realistic. Think about how many other people are doing that. Why would they let you do that out of all people? And that's not to say that you can't do it in the future. Or maybe not spam, but you can definitely ask in the future. But now, realistically, no one knows me. No one really knows you. So you have to make them know, which leads you on to step number two, which is you have to start building your platform. Because let's be honest, you don't watch Misfits Boxing for the talent of boxing. You don't. You watch it because of KSI and all the fighters that are on there because they're entertainers. It's called crossover boxing for a reason. And if you want to go on there purely because you're a good boxer and you don't really think you want to kind of explore any other realm, then you're the guy who knocked out Face Temper and beat up Ryan Taylor because the chances are pretty slim. That joke was terrible. You need to grow your platform. That is one of the most important things. You need to make people know who you are. And to be quite frank, it doesn't matter how you want to do that. If you want to be a professional famous basketball player and then come into Misfits, do that. If you want to make a YouTube channel about comic books, about cooking. If you have an audience that would watch you fight and would buy a pay-per-view, then realistically, they have no reason not to put you on a card. And some people might go a bit mad when I say this, but I think being able to be an entertainer, to get on a Misfits card, that's more important than actually having boxing ability. So how many followers you have right now, it doesn't matter if you're a big content creator or it doesn't matter if you have no one you just need to keep grinding because enough is never enough so what i do suggest is just start learning how to grow a fan base if you want make videos about youtube boxing because that will hopefully get their attention but then there does come the boxing ability which is step number three because you don't particularly need this but it increases your chances because say mams taylor says he's looking for someone to fight you've got their interest because you've just grown your platform but he says we're looking for someone with some relative experience if you've been building up your platform but at the same time going to a few boxing lessons learning the basics but getting some experience under your belt then that makes you available to fight a lot of people in the scene like what i'm about to talk about is an anomaly and i'm sure it'll probably never happen again but look at lewis Pineda. my guy can't even speak english at the time he didn't have a platform but because he had the boxing ability and a pro record he was able to fight ksi for his misfits debut but yeah again me saying that doesn't mean that you shouldn't grow your platform again that's one of the most important things but simultaneously having a fan base and the boxing ability is going to help you out so so much now the fourth and final step is something that does set a lot of people in the scene apart they're simply knowing how who when you want to fight and that might sound a bit confusing but look at it in this way to fight on misfits you have to be over 18 years old but say right now you are 16 you've got two years before you can get on misfits so in this time you can be growing your platform you can be getting a bit of boxing ability but if you're confident and you know that okay what i'm doing is definitely going to get me recognized when i do turn 18 what's the harm in looking for opponents now if there's other people trying to do the same thing as you if you guys can already meet at a certain weight and there's already something there that makes your audience want to watch you fight this person then by the time you've turned 18 not only have you become credible to fight on misfits but you've done half of the promo and you found an opponent you're not going to have to be waiting any longer to find someone to fight and let's say hypothetically this 16 year old has 500 subscribers and no boxing experience in the two years that they're waiting to get on misfits if they work hard learn how to make good entertaining youtube videos or whatever they want to do they can increase their sub count to about 50,000 or higher like the sky is literally the limit and at the same time i have two years of worthy boxing experience and what's going to separate some people from the others is people that just try to get involved in the community like if you go on twitter there's people who are doing spaces every Every night. You get the opportunity to speak to Misfits fighters already and even Mams, Taylor and KSI if you're lucky. So you can introduce yourself there or you can literally just try and go to these events. Make friends with people who are going to watch you because they're interested in YouTube boxing. So when the time comes and you probably haven't already been noticed yet, you'll have an army of people who are just vouching for you. And at the same time, if you're lucky enough and you're meeting people who are involved in the zone, Misfits, bigger content creators, then just introduce yourself and just tell them. Realistically, from their point of view, they can never have too many fighters. There's always going to be pullouts, injuries. And what annoys me a lot is people just 
asking to be on Misfits and put in a video of them just shadow boxing or something, saying, please make my dream come true. It's not, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. As generous as the people who put on these events are, at the end of the day, it's a business and you're a purchase. A good analogy is that Misfits is Tesco. And say you're a new piece of clothing that's really popular, everyone wants to wear it, it's high quality, then they're obviously going to purchase you and put you on the shelf so you can sell. But if you're a piece of clothing that isn't high quality, you've been rushed, people aren't willing to buy you because you're not high quality and you haven't put the work in to make people want to buy you, then they're obviously going to look for the better option. So yeah, that is all four steps. What you have to do is just work hard at the end of the day. Whatever part of your journey you're on to get on a boxing event, no matter how big or small it is, you're going to have to work hard. And in my opinion, it's harder to get on a Misfits boxing card than just a regular boxing card because as well as training and as well as trying to get a fight, you're going to have to be someone who people want to watch. So that's my advice. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I don't know how well this video is going to do, but I hope you guys take this advice on board and I want to see a couple of your Misfits in the years to come. If you were to be on Misfits, who would you want to fight? Comment below and like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And yeah, see you in a bit.